Nick Saban's place in college football can't be disputed. Dabo Sweeney, obviously, kind of to be in the club, needed to win a national championship, but we all could recognize what he brings to the table and the program he's built. But it's kind of developed a, a, a bit of a, not a debate between those two, but the Dabo Sweeney story is is pretty incredible. Your, th- your thoughts about the, the coaching situation on both sides here? Both of these guys, they, they come from completely different styles, right? I mean, Nick Saban is one way where he is uh, kind of buttoned up the entire way. And, and for Dabo Sweeney, he's the complete opposite, right? He is kind of a, the rah-rah guy. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to be a player's coach. So, um, you know, when it comes to getting players in the NFL, you could argue, hey, Nick Saban is, is undefeated in that way. You know that if you're going to go to Bama and you play well, you get an opportunity to, to play on Sundays. For Dabo, Dabo's still trying to find that answer, but he also found a national championship, and that's the important thing. And a big call or a lot of the discussions we had in the Paul Feinbaum show earlier this week had a lot to do with, hey, when Nick Saban decides to you know, call it a day down the road, is it going to be Dabo Sweeney that's going to get the, that call? And, Mark, I, I can't say that I, if I'm Dabo, I would ever take that job down in Alabama. I know he's a Bama guy. But you continue to build something special down uh, in, in Clemson and build it from scratch. I mean, you know, he was an interim head coach and now back-to-back college football playoff championship games, and he's got a ring. Uh, I, if I'm Dabo, I, um, I get a, my own statue outside of Clemson Stadium down there. Yeah, I, I think on the surface, obviously, if the question's posed, do you take the Alabama job if you're a college football coach? Of course you take the Alabama job. But considering the circumstances, I think Dabo might want to be the one guy that's the one removed from the guy that replaced Nick Saban. Maybe the guy that took it down to seven and five level and then he brings it back and becomes that guy. You better never get to seven and five level or else Fine Bomb Show is going to explode, my friend. But yeah, I mean, look at what happened with Ron Zook, right? When Ron Zook had to take over Steve Spurrier. Zook was a good coach. We all respected what he did. But it's very tough when you get past a legend. Rarely does it work. The only time I can really remember it worked really well lately is Jimbo Fisher taking over for Bobby Bowden down in Florida State. So um, I, I think it's something that, you know, basically everybody wants to get Nick Saban out, out, out of Alabama simply because he keeps having success year in and year out. 